Hello, this is William McKissick with Schooly Mitchell, your expense reduction specialist. And remember my word of caution, this is not my day job. This is my way of helping promote local businesses across the Tampa Bay area. And today I have with me Lauren Stewart. Welcome to the show, Lauren. Hi, thanks for having me. So let me just give a brief overview of who you are and then we'll get into some questions and you can tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you do. So Lauren Stewart, she is a commercial insurance advisor. She specializes in property and casualty insurance and she's with USI, um, which is a national commercial insurance brokerage. So Lauren, tell me a little bit about yourself and how you get into this insurance business. Yeah, so I've only been in the insurance business for a few short years, um, but I actually got into it. I majored in risk management and insurance back in college. So I went to Florida State University. I majored in risk management and insurance. I think they're one of five or six schools with that program. Um, so I was just a regular business ma uh, major and was recruited into the RMI program through um, other sales producers that came in and spoke to our classes. Um, they sound, they made it sound really intriguing. Um, the insurance industry, of course, is very long lasting and never gonna go anywhere, um, hopefully. So I went into the insurance business from there, started off out of college at a local St. Pete firm, um, and then recently switched over to USI one whole year ago um, for just more resources, more markets, and, and better technology for my clients. So that's kind of my short, brief history. But yeah, I, I weirdly majored in insurance back in college. So you came out of college already an insurance expert, so you're just plugging right into the industry. That's fantastic. It and did so help. I graduated with both of my licenses, so I didn't have to sit for the exam since I sat for, for plenty in college. So it was very nice to major in it and come out with a, with a leg up in the industry. Well, anybody watching this video, you have an expert right there and then. She's been educated at college and now she's doing it for a living. What doesn't get any better than that? So, so Lauren, tell me, what differentiates your company from other companies in the insurance industry? Yeah, so USI is a large national insurance brokerage. So we have over 200 offices nationwide. Um, and I sit out of our Tampa location office that houses over 200 industry experts. Um, and we do about $32 million in revenue just out of our Tampa office. Um, and what differentiates USI from other agencies across the United States is really what we call our one advantage. So it's our proprietary approach to risk management and insurance, and it's comprised of three different sections. So the Omni, the network, and the enterprise. The Omni is our proprietary analytics engine. I always describe it as kind of like the Google for USI's internal mm -hmm. purpose. Um, so I'm able to um, look at all the historical data of our hundreds of thousands of clients across the U.S., and it's all captured into this one platform. Um, so any solution or coverage enhancement or premium savings that was successful on one of our clients, uh, say, in Michigan, I'm able to see that captured information and try to implement that on a client that I'm working on locally here in Florida. So it's a really great tool um, that not to my knowledge, any other insurance agency has access to. Um, and it just makes me uh, have more solutions at my fingertips. That's really cool because it's similar to what we do at Schooly Mitchell because we've got our database of pricing and deals that we've negotiated. So we have a database and we can plug in what somebody's done in Chicago. We know that we can do it down here kind of thing. So that's amazing that you're doing that. It's so helpful. It makes you... Yeah you know, have so much more access to information than you would have just being solo by yourself. So obviously you specialize in, in property and casualty, but what market segments do you service? Yeah, so I uh, service mid to large size commercial businesses. My main focus at USI, we all have um, different divisions that we are put in, and I'm in the industrial uh, vertical here. So that's manufacturing, distribution, um, anything that has to do with that, I normally service, although I can service anything mid to large size commercial businesses, which is typically um, people who spend over $100,000 in premium on their insurance uh, annually um, and typically have about $15 million in sales. Fantastic. So if you're a business owner or a C-level in a business or with a business um, and you're looking for insurance coverage, please reach out to Lauren at her details, which is underneath her portion of the video. Um, so Lauren, what's going on in the insurance industry right now that, that viewers should know about? 
what isn't going on in the insurance industry right now? I mean, you looked at, you can see how much uh, change this past year has brought um, and ultimately anything weird or, or out of no the normal that happens in the world trickles down into your insurance premiums. Um, so the insurance market has hardened this year, um, which means that coverages are shrinking and premiums are increasing. Um, and that's because of everything that's gone on the past couple of years. Um, we don't even have to mention COVID, but before that there was the me Too movement that was really popular and, and still um, still gaining traction. Um, you had the wildfires fires out in California, the hundreds of hurricanes the past couple yeah. of years Florida has experienced. Um, so it's all all trickling down into the customers and and they're paying for it in their premiums this year. Um, so we've been really involved in trying to get out ahead of that and helping our clients with some unique strategies and trying to combat those renewals um, because the premium increases are doubling for a lot of our clients, which is insane compared to what they've been dealing with already with COVID this past year. So really feeling for the, the hurting businesses right now. So well, thank you for sharing that. Um, again, anybody watching this video, you can clearly see that Lauren knows her stuff. Um, she knows the industry, she knows what's going on in the industry, so you want somebody like that in your corner every time when you're doing business, so please reach out to Lauren, our details below her. Um, and as a final thought in this short interview, Lauren, what advice do you have for anybody watching this video? The best advice I could give if you are coming up on your renewal this year is to just start early. I mean, I would picture your account going out to markets as kind of like it's being interviewed each year by underwriters. Um, so you want to prepare, you want to start early, you want to come early to the process, to the interview. Um, so we're, we're helping our clients start that process 150 days out um, just so that that uh, underwriter has the first look at it and it's going to be viewed more uh, favorably, con favorably compared to the others in your industry when it shows up early. Uh, have any large claims that happened that year explained in, in corrective measures that you're going to take to um, fix that in the future um, and you're going to have a lot better favor with the underwriter's side when, when getting those that renewal premium back. Well, thank you for sharing all of that with me, Lauren. It's a pleasure. Again, anybody watching this video, there's the details to contact Lauren at, and please reach out. You can see she's very knowledgeable and very helpful in the industry. So Lauren, thank you very much for coming on. I really appreciate it. It is, has been my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. It's been fun. You're welcome. I'll now hand it over to Dave for the weather.